So what do you got? Brett here coming at you with another Armour Gym Muay Thai technique tutorial. So today I'm gonna to focus on the Thai kick, the body kick. I'm just gonna concentrate on the right leg today. So I'm gonna make a um, small angular step out. Body position's great. Step out on an angle of about 45 degrees. My leg is gonna travel out on an angle. So I'm cutting across my target pointing my toes across my target on the balls of my feet. So that's how I initiate my right round kick. I will then drive this arm down as this leg swings up more like a unit, not a snap from the knee like this, but a swing of the body and the leg through. So the leg is bent but locked through that position. The ball of the foot is the only thing that's on the floor on this leg. Your guard is up here. Your body is structured and then you turn as you throw that kick through. This foot spins on the floor. It's got the ability to spin because it's only the ball of your foot and it can easily turn it. All right, so let me show you that on the back. So what you just seeing me do is just testing my range a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna, I've got a great stance, good structure. I step my body out, angle out, foot out. So I've got the power angle and then bring my leg up, my shin straight across at the height of my own ribs, and then return back to stance. So you can see it's my shin, this part here, that's making the impact, not my foot itself. I don't want to kick you with my foot. I want my shin like a bat to hit you through the ribs. So again, I step my left foot out on a slight angle and then straight back to position. Yeah. Now you see, I'm not returning this leg out there. I'm not dropping it down there. And I'm not letting the kicks return, put it back behind me. I'm recovering in such a way that I'm straight back into my stance. Straight on the balls of my foot, then the kick. You see, that's really important. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also show you the multi-kick as well. So the multi-kick is another kick repeated, exactly the same again. So it's gonna need another little step, an angle adjustment. The kick itself, the arm drive, the return of the leg, the return of the guard, and the return of the base foot back into straight position, but not back to that position, because we're gonna slowly move through the target. So I keep, to get my drift. All right, so I'll start a little bit um, more around this time. So you can see, I'm not gonna be able to go straight through the back because the bag's fixed there. So what I do is I slightly circle it as well as I move in. And I'm gonna do three kicks. And you see I slightly angled around. I'm gonna start another three from here. And then straight back to stance. You see my kicking leg went back on the floor. My toes, went down, but my heel didn't. So I throw my kick, one, two, but no heel. I'll show you from this angle. So kick, toe, no heel, Got up, shut, shut. I stayed on the spot there. 
just kept rotating and pivoting on my front foot. Okay, so that's how we throw the Thai body kick and then how we repeat it up. You can repeat from anywhere from two up to 100 if you want. All right, that will test your fitness as well as your balance and your technique and everything else to be able to string that many kicks together takes a lot of practice. So you're going to need a tie pad holder to help you practice that because you're going to move across the room slowly. And I'll do another video on that at a later date. Okay, I hope that helps you with your tie kicks and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys soon. So what do you come?